There are really only four ways that an exponential function can be oriented. Imagine the graph y equals 2 to the x. When x is equal to 0, 2 to the 0, then y is equal to 1. When x is equal to negative 1, then y is equal to 1 half. When x is equal to negative 2, y is 1 fourth. When x is negative 3, y is 1 eighth, and so on and so forth until y approaches 0. Meanwhile, if we go in the opposite direction, when x is 1, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 3, y is 8, and so on and so forth. Now, as x approaches negative infinity, this graph is approaching the x-axis, approaching zero. Meanwhile, when x approaches positive infinity, this graph, we say, diverges to infinity. Now, the four ways that our exponential function can be oriented is either positive and growing, positive and decaying, we call this exponential decay, could be negative and growing, or negative and decaying. Now, the thing that makes our graph either above or below the x-axis is the coefficient of the base. Here, our base is 2. If you raise 2 to any power, any power at all, will it ever be negative? Well, the answer is no. You can never raise a positive number to another number and have it ever be negative. Likewise, 2 to the something is always going to be positive, and so when you multiply that by this negative 1 in front, it's always going to be negative. Now the thing that makes this graph either growing or decaying is the exponent itself. If your exponent is positive, you are growing. Meanwhile, if your exponent is negative, you are decaying. So if you just look at the base and the exponent, you'll know which side of the x-axis your graph is on, and you'll also know whether your function is growing or decaying. And this is what you need to know about exponential functions before you begin AP Calculus.